Hello Mech Warriors, Digital Angel here for another video. Uh, trying to piece this together. Uh, unfortunately, when I recorded it, I forgot to turn my mic on at the start. Uh, but, big news, uh, big patch today, new skill system, uh, engine decouple, couple other things. Uh, as you see here, uh, had a bunch of GXP coming in, uh, count injection. Um, now, I think that was the end of the event. Uh, that just ended actually. I don't think that had anything to do with the skill tree for that batch. Um, but as we'll see here in just a second, uh, that's not a problem. Okay, load in, wait for everything. Okay, so, refund ledger. Important thing here, uh, most accounts are going to see a lot more than this. I had about a quarter million C-bills come back, really just from my consumables. But I had uh, three mechs that were basic, so they came in with, uh, what, 15 uh, skill nodes each, uh, or... No, actually, I guess they weren't even completely basic. Uh, Crab 27, I believe, was, uh, or sorry, 27SL, was basic and I think had its first elite, and the Crab 27, 27 Bravo uh, were fully eluded, but were not mastered, so they came in at 57 skill notes each. If they had been completely mastered, uh, they would have come in with 91. Uh, that'll vary a lot with what makes you have, how experienced they are. Now, I'm doing this video from my Smurf account here. Uh, little Tier 5 account, uh, only owns 5 mechs. Actually, a, a week ago at the beginning of the event, only owned 2 mechs. Wasn't even done with its cadet bonuses yet. Um, now, just looking through the changes on the interface here, you notice that uh, your Skills tab that we were all used to up top is gone. Stores moved over. Um, we've got one or two new tabs at, at uh, the left-hand side. Uh, mostly the Convert XP uh, they added in. Nothing too drastic, uh, but just some, some small changes here. Um, yeah, and then all, all, all the tabs that we're used to. But let's get to uh, the bread and butter here, the skill system. Um, So, a new system, you have to go into the mech lab, uh, yeah, hide the trial mechs, because I can't do anything with those, I don't own them. I'm going to start with my Crab 27. Um, you know, took a look at the others, took a, a quick look at, at the quirks, because the quirks did change some here. Now, my Crab 27's real basic, standard engine, couple heat sinks, five medium pulse lasers, uh, endo, ferro, double heat sinks. Um, real simple build. But, let's go into skills here, shall we? And our wonderful loading screen. So, we've got all our weapon trees. Now, one important thing uh, that they did there is that you can get to almost everything in the tree without having to take anything specific to one weapon type. Anything specific to missiles or specific to ballistics or specific to energy. The one exception of this is, for example, there I can go all the way down that line. I can pick up range. I can pick up cooldown. Um, you know, and I can avoid all those ballistic nodes if I want. If, for example, in this crab, uh, which is an energy boat. Now, the one exception is you hit that bottom uh, little cluster there in the center. And, uh, yeah, there we go. That, that little cluster right there. Um, you do have that group of three. You have to go through one of them, but you only have to go through one of them. So, uh, you know, I've got ballistic, I've got one energy, I've got one missile. But any mech you run is going to have a weapon. So, you know, if, if you're putting that much into the weapon skill tree, you probably have one main weapon that they could use one of those three, and then that opens up access to that other cluster below it. Um... So you, you could, if you wanted to, potentially 
claim every single uh, non-weapon specific node uh, with only having to take one specific to one category. Now, uh, survivability tree, uh, Standard Union Crabs are, are tanky little mechs to begin with. They can take a beating. Um, I ended up putting a whole lot into this tree, a decent amount of mobility, and a little bit in operation. So things like uh, Cool Run, Heat Containment, a um, couple other things that picked up along the way. But just as we take a look through, I mean, armor structure, uh, reduced... Uh, chance of having things critted. Uh, I think a lot of people are going to be putting a lot of points on armor tree. Uh, okay, so um, I unfortunately just realized that uh, I had my mic off for the first part of this video. Um, I don't want to completely restart it because the refund ledger on this account, so I will edit it out. But one of the things I was saying is that this weapons tree, they did a nice rework on it, with the exception of these three right here in the center, I could potentially go down and grab every single node in this tree, or every single generic, like uh, the Heat Gen 10, I could come, I could go down this path, and hit there. Even these bottom nodes, I don't have to hit any of the system specific except cooldown 12, range 15, velocity 5. I've got to come through one of these three, but I only have to pick one specific. So no matter what mech I'm running, I'm going to have some weapon. Uh, so that was one of the big complaints people had. Uh, personally, I tend to go for mobility and survivability and a little less punch, so the weapons tree is probably not going to be my first choice. I mean, survivability is hard to, to argue with. Okay, you come here, shock absorbance, which some people don't think is super important, but everybody can use, or AMS overload, uh, for your mechs with AMS. Skull density, armor hardening, uh, so, I mean, that's good. Agility, and I'm looking at this, the patch notes said they took out a lot of the arm nodes, and sure enough, I don't see a single arm node, um, which my mechs with arms might actually be a little sad about, but my mechs without them, like most of my cicadas, uh, well, I don't have to waste picks on a note that my mech can't use. Uh, jump capabilities. I've got this little warning here uh, because my Crab 27 that I've got selected currently has no jump jets, isn't capable of equipping them. Mech operations. Uh, quick ignition. Okay, improved gyro, speed retention, heat management. Very, yeah, okay, gonna be going for heat management. Uh, heat, heat containment and cool run as much as possible on energy boats. Um. Uh, so, going to be going to be spending a lot on that tree. Sensor systems. What's my warning? Uh, can, okay, contains some nodes with no effect based on my current loadout. And that's probably things like target decay because I, I have no missile weapons. Uh, but I. One of my teammates could still potentially use um, my target lock. Let's see, miscellaneous. We have uh, consumable slots, UAV duration, ranges, narc. Um, I'm probably be doing some of those if nothing else. Uh, I play decent amount of energy boats, decent amount of hot builds. I will definitely be using uh, some of the extra cool shot slots. Um, coming in, uh, going to have to take a look at this, see what I want. Uh, standard Union Crabs tend to be very tanky. Uh, I don't have a choice but to start with reinforced casing. Uh, shock absorbance. Skeletal. Uh, have to take some more reinforced casing, which reduces crit chance, which 
isn't a bad thing to, to begin with. Okay, so that basically maxes out the armor tree other than the AMS skills. And that uses 33 skill nodes already. Uh, but that's a very tanky mech. Now, let's see what that leaves me. Uh, here on... Uh, agility. Uh, kinetic burst, which is always good. Um, force of speed. Hard, uh, I mean, kinetic burst and, and hard break are always useful, as is anchor turn down here. Um, okay, most of my speed tweaks are down at the bottom. Now, hard break, kinetic burst, uh, torso yaw, kinetic burst, hard break. Um, Anchor turn, hard break, uh, that, Return, force of speed, speed tweak, speed tweak, speed tweak. Okay, so that gets me most of the survival tree, most of agility. Um, I mean, I wouldn't mind like anchor turn two, but that's going to take several to get to. Uh, yeah, torso yaw, hard break, uh, a little bit of additional torso speed. Um, have no jump jets on this mech. So, operations. Let's see what we've got. Um, speed retention never hurts. Heat containment. Yes, heat containment. Um, heat containment. Cool run. Heat containment. Cool run. Uh, I could go down quick ignition. The hill climb. Okay, I've got to take one of those. Um, A little bit, being able to go a little bit faster after being like to cool run, yes. Um, heat containment, heat containment. Uh, I don't care so much about quick ignition, uh, but I'm going to have to go through it to get uh, my cool runs here at the bottom. So, we're up to 85 sensors. 
miscellaneous. Um, I currently have no consumable slots. Um, duration. That's cool shot, yes. That's cool shot. Coolant reserves. Slot, and that puts me at 91. That maxes me out with no sensors. Um, it gives me a fairly agile crab. That gives me a very survivable crab. Um, no weapon quirks whatsoever. Um, no sensor quirks, but I usually am not doing a whole lot. I mean, Inner deprivation and seismic are always nice, but you have to dump so much into sensors to get it um, with the new system. So, let's see, this gives me a total of 20% armor bonus, 35% structure, taking half fall damage, uh, plus 20% to yaw speed, Plus six percent to yaw angle, ten percent to pitch angle, seven and a half percent to max top speed, uh, twenty-one percent faster startup, fifteen percent higher max heat, ten percent extra heat dissipation, uh, which is really important in an energy boat. Uh, hill climb, screen shake. Uh, okay, I mean those are nice. Uh, speed retention. Uh, actually gives me two consumable slots, uh, a little bit extra UAV duration, uh, consume uh, another cool shot capacity, cool shot bonuses, acceleration deceleration rates, uh, turn rate, and uh, big bonus against being critted. So, as I look at this, and I think about what I want to do. Uh, target info gathering is, is always nice. Just get that data a little bit faster. Um, I don't care about jump jets there. First, um, I'm doing this. I've got nothing for weapons. Not even any range. And I mean just couple in range might be nice to have. Um, you know, maybe hit some cooldowns. Um, but I've got to give up something to have that. Um, and this is going to be a very, very tanky brawly mech. This does tend to be a brawly build. Um, reasonably fast. So let's see what we can do. Historic. Uh, okay, so that was the 57 skill points that I got on this mech for having it deleted. Um, now because I didn't have it all the way mastered, I don't get some of this yet, so I've got to give some up. I do have some historic XP. Um, doesn't look like it's... how do I transfer that? I don't see it. Some up there. Uh, this wasn't a mastered mech, so I can't really expect it. 
to still be a mastered mech. I'll turn back a lot, and I'll turn back a lot. Um, maybe back to there. I'm actually within my 57 now, so that's a good thing to have. And I've got all the survivability. I actually have two picks left, so a little bit of range would not hurt me. Um, can live without it. Uh, other than quirks, uh, this mech had no modules on it. Um, it's probably really coming out better than it was already. Um, okay, let's leave it there at 51. That'll give me six uh, left to do. And go ahead and apply my changes. That leaves me six left on this mech. What do I have? Okay, optimal range. Uh, max range. Okay, so I obviously still have some quirks. Let's look at what the quirk list for this mech is now. Energy range 10% and structure bonus etc from a lot of my skills but it's still it's still got the 10% energy range um, that it had. Still moves decent and still have two skill points left to pick. Um, what I have to choose from. I uh, will go ahead and click a couple. So I actually have four available skill points left. Here. Okay. Let me first use a little bit of torso speed and torso speed. So that will give me a little bit better agility. Uh, I have no available skill nodes left on this mech at the moment, but it wasn't mastered. I can still earn more. And let's take this out and see how it plays compared to the way it used to. And I think I will go for Manifold. It's a nice cold map. And this is not an especially fast crab, so I'll go for Assault. Now, one thing I just realized, I know I didn't take much on the utility tree, uh, but I forgot to even check modules in the mech lab, so oops, silly me. So used to having them loaded and set to automatically refill that I didn't think about it. And a quick look down the names, just while we're getting ready. Uh, ooh, we're facing Laser Chicken uh, Hamster 1989. Uh, okay, well, nobody I recognize, but this isn't mm -hmm. my main account, nice. so let's go. Greetings. Mm -hmm. And just a nice
Nice little good luck to our opponents. Online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Command coming in. Capture and hold the resource point. Stop any hostiles that get in your way. Well, since uh, Conquest 1, I'll go and help capture Sigma. Actually, I'm noticing... Even with not much in the mobility tree, I'm moving just as fast, maybe uh, slightly faster than I was before on an elited mech. Yeah, I think I was moving 91 point something, but very, very close. For all Target intents and purposes, spotted. even with a lot of the mobility tree left, I'm equal to... Uh, I seem to have good torso movement. Command confirming that we have possession of Kappa. They've taken Epsilon. So, very happy with the trees so far. I'm going to buzz in and check the, check underneath and see if they're there. Now, just knowing my playstyle, I probably will go more for mobility as I earn some more skill nodes on this mech. Snag it, snag it. Get out of here, I gotta get out of here. Target acquired. They're gonna get it. Yeah, but I'm a locust. There's a lance coming in the side if you guys want to push. Oops. Theta is controlled by the enemy.
resources. Capture resource points from them to stop the bleeding. New target acquired. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Leg, left leg. He also got worms, so stay close. CT on the little guy, leg on the other guy. Right torso, critical damage. Center torso, Big guy leg, damage. little guy CT. Big guy gets leg. New target acquired. Or literally any of them. He's got structure quirks for sure. Look at that motherfucker. Target destroyed. One left. Almost there. One final push. It's cap and cap right now, so go cap their base. He's not Wolfhound. Wolfhound should go cap the enemy base. Oh, if you got no ammo, definitely go cap. Where are you at? Yeah, commando. Fuck your ass over. No, the other side. Other side. Commando. Oh, wait, that's the crab. Kappa is under enemy control. Oh, your name is the commando? Ha! <laughs> Fucking threw me off with that one. We're not gonna out cap him, we have to kill him. His ass. He's still a Kappa. He's leaving Kappa now. Watch your right. Watch your right, Crab. Make sure he doesn't sneak by you. He's not on the point. There we go. He went left. Yep. He's, yep. Right there. Got him. Target acquired. Nail him. Kill his ass. So out of that match, we made almost 300,000 XP, almost or almost 1,800 XP, almost 300,000 C bills. Uh, made Johnny Five and Creeping Death, so another 4,000 general XP. And let's go back in the mech lab and see what that'll get us under this new skill system.
Now, I was pretty good on my mobility in that match, uh, so I'm not sure I need to take too much more on the mobility tree. Uh, but for an energy boat, uh, I mean, heat skills always help. Um, let's see, I'm not sure on speed retention or hill climb. I don't really care about the quick ignition that much. As long as I avoid shutting down, I don't need it. Um, but let's go a little bit more speed retention. Uh, cool run, yes. Um, I've got to take the hill climb to get the heat containment 4, through gyros heat containment 5, and I need to add, okay, 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 I need to convert XP first. Uh, there we go, convert XP. That's what I was looking for. Yes, convert all of it because this account only owns one. No, no, I want to convert all. That will kill to add skill point. I have two skill points and my GXP historic. There we go. Okay, that's what I need to do. That'll give me another 12. And it's going to cost me just over half a million sea bills. Well, I made almost. I made over half of that in that one match. So there we go. Okay, we want speed retention for cool run. Uh, actually, I can do without the hill climb. Um, I'll take hill climb there for heat containment and improved gyro containment. Uh, don't have a choice but for quick ignition. Um, you know, I'll take a little bit of improved gyros just for that, and that leaves me 11, so I still have one of what I left converted. Um, you know, being able to have a consumable slot is always nice, so apply those changes. Now we will go back to loadout, go to consumables, and okay, I have the two empty slots, and I will load up cool shot. Yes, auto refill. Okay, I don't have the skills to improve that yet. So, and a UAV is always useful. Now, I do notice that those are more expensive than they used to be, but that is a Cool Shot 18, which was the equivalent of a 9x9 before, which this account did not have that skill yet. So, very nice. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop this here for now. Uh, hopefully this helps you guys see a little bit through. Um, actually, uh, instead of stopping, I will go ahead and uh, convert on some of my other crafts. So, my 27 Bravo, which is currently set up with two ER Larges um, and four Smalls, gets a heat reduction. It did lose the ER Large specific quirks. Um, which means I might actually have to rethink my build on this one. The 27 got range. It used to have... Um, no, it had range before. You had heat reduction, which it still has. It just lost the ER large. And the XL still has uh, pulse laser range. Uh, like it added. Got nerfed a little bit, but not too much. So first up, I'm actually going to go back to a build that I was using in scouting for this thing. Um, no, not, not you. Um, Flamer, not Tag. 
Uh, so two flamers, four small lasers, uh, nice little brawly help overheat uh, my opponents. Actually, with the weight I have, let's see what engines I own on this count at the moment. I could go up to a 305. Extra heat sink. I still have weight to spare. So do we have the weight? to go with just a ton of small pulse lasers. I believe yes we do. And actually still have two and a half tons left. Now, I could take another heat sink, which is always nice, but I'm already at a 156 heat efficiency. Um, I can use that AMS slot and have to take ammo for that. Put a ton of ammo there. Uh, about 200,000 C bills, and let's see what this work does. Okay, but we know in this build we're pretty heat efficient, uh, we're decently fast standard engine, which is going to help survivability to begin with. Uh, so, let's go through the skill tree and see what we can do here. Just like the other one, I know me. Uh, I happen to like survivability, especially on the crab. It's one of the reasons why I like them so much. Um, Okay, I'll go ahead and do that. You, 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 AMS overload or shock absorption. Now, I do have the AMS unit, um, so I'm actually more likely to use that. Um, let's split the difference. No, we'll, we'll go that route this time. Um, I liked the agility last time, so less. Uh, see what we can do. Heartbreak, torso speed. Want to go for lots of torso speed. I also want that anchor turn. Um, Okay, so we convert the XP we had when making the skill points, tossed a little bit of C bills, and then we had the, the ones that it gave us for free from having already had this mech elited. Uh, torso range. Um, I really want that torso speed, because that ability to twist away after a shot um, helps a lot. Um, Torso yaw is probably the most important thing here, uh, other than torso speed and anchor turn. Um, I don't want those speed tweaks, those are important. Um, so I had 4.5%. Uh, Okay, 
there's an anchor turn right there, which I want towards the speed. Um, I'll do an anchor turn. I'd like anchor turn towards the speed, towards the pitch. Speed tweak, anchor turn, speed tweak. Okay, that is allocating all 66 that I have on this mech at the moment. Um, puts nothing in my other slots, but that's okay. Uh, a match or two can fix that. So if we go back to our loadout, so I have put nothing in the utility, uh, but I do still have one consumable slot. Um, normally I'd go with a cool shot first on an energy boat like this, but I really am thinking UAV with, I mean, I've already got over a 1.5 heat management. Um, I put a decent amount in uh, heat related skills. Um, oh, no, 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 I didn't. I don't have any of my heat containment. Um, that might come back to bite me here. Um, but I've got a pretty heat efficient build. I mean, those small pulses uh, don't aren't going to run up a lot of heat. Um, and 14 double heat sinks, yeah, that, that, that should be decent. So now I know I changed up my build in the process, but I, I was running this build as small lasers and a couple flamers and scouting over the course of the event. So I already have a feel for, for how this mech does as a small laser. The small pulse will be a little bit shorter range, um, but better duration, uh, faster refire rate. So let's see what it does. Record another match here for you guys. Um, and I'm sure I'll, I'll be doing a lot more over the next couple days on the new skill system, uh, especially from the point of view of my other account, uh, from a more experienced uh, account uh, perspective that has a lot more mechs, had a lot more GXP, had a lot more modules, um, see what the refund system gives me, things like that. Now, I think I'm actually going to go uh, crimson here because I'm pretty cool. Um, way too short of range for Grim or Polar. Frozen wouldn't be bad once it closed, but Crimson is probably the shortest range of these maps. Uh, real brawly setup. Um, you know, we'll see what happens. Personally, I think one of the biggest advantages of the new skill system and the changes and tweaks combined is that if I have two Crab 27s, for example, I can build them to be completely different mechs and not just different weapon loadouts, not just different consumables loaded, but I can completely change the quirks on them through the new skill system. I can make one very survivable, short range brawly, make another uh, a glass cannon at extreme range uh, and build a sniper out of it if I want. On the exact same variant, I uh, don't have to worry about quirks nearly as much. Um, now we will see. We will see what this system does for uh, for clan interstitial balance, uh, but this is also with engine decoupling, uh, with some other things Hoorah. in play. I will have to see how other Hoorah. mechs do, uh, especially on my larger account that has a better selection. Um, but we also have a lot of the new tech coming next month, so that'll that'll make a big difference in balance as well, especially those light fusion engines for Inner Sphere. Um, that is going to make Inner Sphere mediums and heavy lights much, much more dangerous. Oh, this thing is zippy and it? quick, and oh yeah, this is going to be a nice ride.
got my weapon group set up. Uh, I've got a couple allies up in Delta 5. Okay, one of them's grabbing the battery, and let's go assist them run back up. Is there a reason why we're moving to the right, not the saddle? Ah, well, follow the assaults. Because we're putting all of our eggs in one basket. I'm just worried they're going to push on our base. Probably. Nice work. Let's see if we can pick off that guy in Echo 5. New target acquired. New target acquired. Jammer is online. Hmm. Their assaults are moving up to the top on the back end, right by the ramp. Team, we are way too spread out, man. This probably isn't very good. Fast guys, move back to the day.
Good game, guys. Just saying that uh, that survivability tree is paying off a lot, especially for these uh, short to mid range brawly mechs, uh, which I've played a decent amount of. And let's see, kill, seven assists, uh, solo, not bad. Uh, kind of low on damage, but 161,000 seat bills, uh, over 2,700 XP. Uh, ooh, uh, AMS, okay. Uh, hey, not bad at all. Now, if we go back into the mech lab and back to skills after that, so one decent match, nothing, you know, earth shattering, but a, a good solid match. And if we try to add SP, let's see, I think that was enough for three more skill nodes off of one match. Now, admittedly, that was first one of the day. Um, decent match, but I mean, not, not earth shattering, not oh my god, nobody can do that. Um, I mean, your typical tier 4 or 5 pilot might take two matches to get there, but still, not, not bad. So it definitely shows the new skill system. Uh, even if you're skilling up a new mech, you shouldn't have any problem really getting uh, one to two nodes per match, I think, for most people. And for a lot of your better tier pilots, getting three, four, maybe even five uh, on, on really good matches. See, that 3 will let me start to get heat containment, um, because even though this should be a fairly cool build, um, I was have really having to watch my fire control there at times, and if for something this brawly, um, some of the cooling skills will, will really, really help. Okay, so remember guys, um, when you come into the new system, uh, come in, that add SP button, whether you're converting experience on the mech, whether you're converting general experience, uh, whether you've got historic points from mechs you already own before the system came into play, remember that add SP button. Um, if you're converting from anything uh, other than uh, the skill points that you had um, on the mech coming in from a mech being basic or elite or mastered, there's going to be some sea bill calls, but it's not huge. Um, and honestly, you can you can regrind those sea bills in just one to two matches, um, you know, per batch of, of five or six nodes. So not a problem. Uh, I'm liking it. I'm just glad the rule of three went away. I'm very very happy about that. Um, and I think a lot of our new players will. Uh, you know, if you were somebody who put money into the game, bought MC, um, you know, or, or really ground hard on the events, uh, you could get mech base. But for new pilot coming in, those four mech base are really your choke point, especially when you had to have three variants of the same mech to get past basic skills. Um, and those elites and the double basics that came with them were, I mean, they just night and day on most mechs. Um, so, really, really glad to see that go away. Um, on this account, I mean, three crabs, two cicadas. Um, I personally like both of those chassis. I probably won't get rid of any. 
on my other account, I'll have to go through and uh, see how quirks change, see on everything else. I won't be selling off a bunch of mechs at least until the tech changes come next month and probably for a month or two after that to, to have time to get a feel for things. Um, but yeah, I can see a lot of people going, hey, I don't need that third mech. But I, I was one of those people that once I got uh, a chassis basic, most of the time I only kept about two variants uh, of a chassis unless I really, really liked it anyway. Um, honestly, the only reason I kept two chassis on most of the Omnimex was for faction play. Um, because you can change pods around and do whatever you want with those. So we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and call this video here. Uh, good luck, have fun, and see you guys on the battlefield.